I'll be speaking on the things of God. The things of God. Now, the things of God are those things that can only be revealed to us by the Spirit of God. They are the deep things of God. For instance, a false minister who is not ministering under the influence of the Holy Spirit cannot show you the deep things of God. He can only reveal to you what the devil can do, but not what God will do. Satanic priests do not know the full picture of the future. The part of the future they know is the one that the devil will create. They can tell uh, you, you know, they can tell you somebody will die because the devil will kill the person. They can say there will be no peace because the devil will cause a commotion. And they can say you will have money because the devil can also give it to you. What authenticates the true, you know, what, what authenticates the true minister are the deep things of God that he can reveal. The secret of the Lord is with them because they fear the Lord in all they do. No, the spirit of the, the secret of the Lord is in them because the fear of God is in them. A satanic priest can also tell you things that are true. A satanic priest can also tell you things that are true, but the source is not from the truth. That's Jesus. Anytime you say something true, when you are not energized by the spirit of truth, then you are probably into divination or soothsaying. Don't let you know what they say deceive you. The source is more important than the product. The source is more important than the product. Now, why the first ministers act for gain, the true minister acts to fulfill the will of the Father. The goal of ministry is not gain. It is to fulfill God's will. The moment your aim is to make gain, then you are in business, not ministry. The backup of a true minister is the Holy Spirit. But for a false minister, his backup are his cult group. He believes he is saved as long as he is in, you know, he is with his people, he is with his court group, he is with his court members. Don't let the, the reality of what somebody is saying to deceive you. Don't let it deceive you. Check the source. Check the source. You know, a satanic agent cannot tell you the deep things of God. They can only reveal the part of the future where, you know, the part of the future that the devil will cause. They cannot, they don't know the deep things of God. The deep things of God are the things of God that can only be revealed by the Spirit of God. Example. Now, a satanic priest cannot tell you the will of God. They don't know the plans of God. But they know what the devil will do. They know what the devil has planned to do in time to come. So they will only tell you that part. They will only tell you those things that the devil, for instance, they can say somebody will die. The devil is planning to kill somebody. So when the person dies, of course, you will see them as somebody that is, that is truthful. Whereas they only reveal to you the part of the future that the devil is interested in creating. Now, the deepness of God are the mysteries of the kingdom. You can't get that from a false preacher, from a false minister, no. Because only the Spirit of God can reveal it. So, And the Spirit of God will not work with somebody that is false. So obviously you know that the secret of the kingdom cannot come from a false preacher. I pray the Lord will help us not to fall into the a trap of these wicked ones, these false ministers, in the name of Jesus. Now, if you if you study what happened during the time of Jesus, you know when Jesus came, now, part of the deep things of God concerning the life of Jesus when he came to earth was that Jesus will have to die. But the devil did not know. So because the devil did not know, there was none of the magicians as at that time that could reveal that secret. 
Why? Because it is part of the deep things of God. Only the children of God knew that. The Isaiah prophesied it. The prophet, you know, the, the um, prophet Isaiah prophesied it. And other prophets also spoke about the death. And Jesus said that himself. But the devil did not know. That was why the devil instigated people to kill Jesus. Because he did not know. So the death of Jesus was part of the deep things of God. That was kept as a reserve for the children of God. So the devil did not know that. So that was why when they killed Jesus, they discovered that, oh, if they had known, they would not have crucified Jesus. Because when Jesus died, Jesus replicated himself. When Jesus died, the, the death of Jesus actually freed him. Is The death of Jesus was a form of liberty for him. So when the devil now saw, oh, they now, the, even the devil and his agents now regret killing Jesus because they said, even the scripture now says that if the princes of this world had known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Meaning they do not know in the first place. So how to catch a false prophet is, you know, if you ask them to review some things about the future, of course they will because they know what the devil wants to do. How to catch them is you tell them to review the deep things of God. They don't know it. Why? Because only the Spirit of God can reveal the deep things of God. For instance, now, if you ask the devil to reveal the next move of the Spirit, the next move of the Spirit, what is God planning to do in this generation? The devil does not know because that is part of the deep things of God. But if you ask, if you ask a false minister, how many children do, I have, do, do, do we have in the family? They can, they can pick that one. Those ones are natural. Those ones are, you know, carnal things. They can pick it. But if you ask them to pick the deep things of God, that's where you see their secrets. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name.